Hello, my fellow pool enthusiasts. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how I decide to play position on a variety of shots. I will be referencing the 90 degree rule and the tangent line. If you are unfamiliar with the 90 degree rule and how to find the tangent line, make sure you watch my video titled Cue Ball Control and the 90 degree rule. In this first situation, I want to pocket the one ball, leaving myself good position on the eight ball. The tangent line of the one ball intersects the center of the corner pocket, so any variation of a center ball hit could result in a scratch shot. Draw is also not an ideal option in this situation. If I hit the cue ball with draw, it will deflect along a path that is behind the tangent line and end up in this area of the table. You can get shape on the eight ball playing low right English, but since there are better options, it would be my last resort. If I give the cue ball top spin, I can go two rails and get shape on the eight ball. If I had to avoid other balls, I could use top left to get shape on the eight ball. I could also use top right to play position on the eight ball. Keep in mind that anytime you use English, you have to account for deflection, swerve, and spin-induced throw, which can make pocketing the ball much more difficult. Here is the setup for the next shot. Based on the layout of the tangent line, I can see that if I hit the cue ball with draw or center ball, the cue ball is going to move up table further away from the eight ball. So the best option in this situation is to use top spin on the cue ball. Next, I have to decide how hard to hit the cue ball. I could try to hit it soft and hold it for the eight ball. But you leave yourself a tough cut on the eight ball. The better option would be to hit the cue ball hard and go two or three rails for shape on the eight. Top left is also an option, but it makes the shot much more difficult. In situations like this, where you have to avoid obstacle walls in order to play a position, top left would be the best choice. In this next example, the cue ball and the object ball are in the same location as the last shot, but the eight ball is at the opposite end of the table. Based on the location of the tangent line, I can reason that I need to hit the cue ball with draw or a stun shot in order to play a position on the eight ball. This is what the shot looks like when played with stun. If I had an obstacle ball or two blocking my path in this area, I could use a firm draw stroke to avoid the obstacle balls and get position on the eight ball. You can also get great shape on the eight ball hitting center ball with heavy right English. However, I don't think the increased difficulty is worth the risk when you can get the cue ball to travel a similar path by hitting it with draw. This is what the shot looks like if you give the cue ball right English. How would you have played each of these shots? Let me know in the comments. Every time you like my video and leave a comment, it tells a YouTube algorithm to promote my content. And this helps my channel grow more than anything. So please comment, like, and subscribe to show your support. Until next time, play hard and have fun. Bye.